Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the crazy market crash that we just saw yesterday and why Cardano is striving during this market crash. So we see a 4.86% increase. Every other coin is down pretty much double digits. Obviously, Polkadot also being another outlier. Um, you know, but like I said, Cardano is going to be the focus in this video. A $1.80 Cardano. 4.61% increase in the last 24 hours. This is massive for Cardano holders, understanding that there's, you know, they're pumping when everybody else is decreasing. And why would this be? Obviously, there's great reasons behind this, and we're going to go into deep details on why this would be. Uh, but if we take a look at the last week alone, a 22% increase, seeing Cardano rise very, very steadily within the last week. Even with this market dip down to about $1.50 for Cardano, we saw it actually rise all the way to its pre, I mean, now it's all time high, $1.89. Uh, you know, May 13th, 8 a.m., $1.89 is its new all-time high. That is just massive. Obviously, seeing this kind of potential in a coin is, uh, you know, it's been here for a lot of people, but, you know, the fact that we're doing it during a market dip or a market crash is huge. We see a $57.6 billion market cap right now, $10 billion volume in the last 24 hours, and a lot of people starting to realize what Cardano is and why to invest in it. So the first thing we're going to look at is Cardano trending on Twitter. 19.7K tweets with Cardano right now. 23.3K, uh, yeah. 23.3k tweets now uh so there's an updated you know trending there for us uh, we are continuing to see cardano trend throughout the day which is a big deal obviously you know the more trends the more publicity the more publicity the more people investing the more investing the more you know that price continues to rise so it's a big deal to see cardano trending a lot of uh really just you know a lot of people starting to realize what cardano is and we jump to the first tweet we're going to look at uh you know it's cardano current sampling of projects floodgates will open once smart contracts on mainnet fully operational so this isn't the big deal of why we're pushing yet but i will say this is a big deal as to why cardano has such a bright future so cardano ecosystem including amm liquidity ido platforms oracle graph query nft payment other insurance synthetic assets stablecoin and lending and borrowing so this is a big deal obviously updated may 12th has a ton of different uh, you know coins and really companies out there that uh, you know cardano ecosystem really supports as a whole this could definitely be uh you know a very big deal for cardano as it has so many different uh so many different platforms to really take advantage of and i think that's exactly what we're going to see cardano doing after the gogan mainnet is uh I guess the Gogan network itself is, you know, completed. We jump into the next one. Cardano moved $9.7 billion in transaction volume in the last 24 hours. Ethereum moved $24.81 billion. So here's the fees. $88.99 million in ETH fees, which is just massive. ADA charge users 18000 Cardano is 1938 times more efficient. EIP 1559 won't even come close to fixing this. So that's a big deal. Obviously seeing, um, you know, Cardano being a great, great competition coming from behind. Ethereum is going to be unfortunately knocked to the side if they don't start doing stuff about these fees very, very soon. Um, you know, Cardano is one of those coins that a lot of people are excited when they get it fully functional, uh, you know, they're going to get in there with Cardano, continuing to invest using Cardano for every, you know, daily transaction as possible. Um, so it's just very interesting to see Cardano being, you know, that favored coin at the moment. We actually jump into the next one. We talk about the market across the board is down by more than 10% and Cardano, or Cardano hits its all-time high. This is huge. So obviously this is a huge thing. Obviously seeing, you know, Cardano reach its all-time high when every other coin is down pretty much double digits like, uh, you know, Apex says here. Uh, if we jump to the Darren tweet. So this is a big one. Obviously, if you guys didn't know about the Tesla and Bitcoin tweet, definitely pause the video and read about this. I won't, you know, pause the video for too long and talk about it because, um, you know, I, well, I won't pause the video obviously either way, but I won't talk about this tweet too much, uh, because unfortunately we, you know, talked about this quite a bit so far. We actually made a video on it. Uh, so I'll probably try to link that in the, you know, at the end of the video, uh, if you guys want to take a look, but you know, basically Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin and they're basically concerned about fossil fuels and, uh, you know, they want to get rid of the emissions that it causes. Um, so the biggest thing is, you know, jumping into, you know, Elon Musk talks about energy usage trend over past months is insane. So they talk about it here. Um, if you actually look at the energy use uh, consumption, we've actually gone up quite a substantial amount. Uh, it's pretty insane. But I will say, guys, if we jump down to I think I lost my tweet. One second. Let me back up here. There we go. So Darren actually talks about Cardano fixes this. So the energy consumption of Cardano network is 6WH 
the expected energy consumption of Bitcoin by the end of 2021 is 130 TWH, over 21,000 times more. So that is a massive, massive amount, obviously going to be huge, uh, you know, for Cardano to really show these kind of facts and uh, hopefully get more people investing in it with, uh, you know, the idea of energy consumption being so low. If we jump down to the next one, we see Bitcoin crashes as Elon Musk announces the Tesla cars and, uh, well, they can no longer, you know, be bought with cryptocurrency, which is just huge. Obviously, you know, Bitcoin as well as every other coin is pretty much down 10%. Uh, you know, I do think we'll bounce back from this without a problem, but it's just pretty crazy to see this kind of, uh, you know, activity really take place. Next, we have the Cardano Foundation tweeting themselves, Cardano and uh, Tesla, an obvious match. And then they have a little thread about it. So um, if you go click on it, it talks about founded by engineers, sustainability, unique solutions, scalability. This one talks about scalability, unique solutions, sustainability, founded by engineers. So it's very interesting to see them exactly, you know, these four at least are exactly the same. Obviously, uh, Cardano trying to make their way to, you know, be a Tesla token of choice. We also see them talking about founded by engineers, how their sustainability actually works, uh, unique, how they're trying to be unique every day. Um, and then obviously, you know, how do we get in touch with uh, your people, basically? And I think Cardano is actually a true, um, you know, a true competitor when it comes to getting people to start using them for transactions. I think we will start seeing Cardano as a main platform, or I guess a main currency, uh, you know, for these kind of transactions when it comes to cryptocurrency. But, you know, it's one of those things that's definitely big for Cardano. We're continuing to see mainstream people pick it up. Obviously, Elon Musk will probably start talking about Cardano. There's too much hype around it. I would assume they would start talking about it here in a little bit. I will say, guys, recently, um, you know, Car you know, Elon Musk has kind of been all over the board. I don't expect him to have an answer for us with Cardano within the next couple of days or weeks or months even. I think, you know, it may, may take uh, Cardano getting a, really a better foundation, um, I guess, through the, you know, smart contracts, Gogan net Network itself before we start seeing any um, true partnerships take place like this. Obviously, this big of a partnership would be massive for Cardano. I would expect a huge, huge increase if this thing took place, uh, but just don't expect it anytime soon. Jumping into our Cardano price point right now, dollar 80 still let's give it a quick refresh dollar 82 now 4.61 percent in the last 24 hours still a very massive increase obviously a lot going on with cardano right now uh, we are going to continue to see cardano do very very well i'm going to give you guys my price predictions for cardano by the end of may june and 2021 so uh, let's talk about that I will say, guys, first off i am not a financial advisor so always do your own research before investing as well as uh you know these are very conservative price predictions, I will say. I always try to keep them reasonable and very conservative, uh, realistic. You know, I'm trying to stay away from the hype 100x people. Um, I don't think, you know, Cardano is doing a 100x anytime soon this year. So, unfortunately, um, you know, from this current price point, we are not going to see a 100x Cardano. But jumping into the prices, where are we going to see Cardano by the end of May? That depends, obviously, on a lot of things. If we ever see a Cardano and, uh, you know, Tesla price, or I guess, partnership, all of my price predictions are going to be wrong for Cardano. Just keep that in mind. Um, you know, one thing I will say though, Cardano by the end of the month, if we could get above two dollars, that'd be a great milestone for Cardano. And I think that's definitely, like I said, realistic. I think that's very conservative, uh, conservative because we've seen you know get right to that dollar eighty nine already May thirteenth at eight twenty a.m. So we're not far away, eleven cents away from two dollars. Definitely a possibility to get above two dollars. Uh, honestly, anywhere between two dollars and two dollars and twenty five cents is a price range that I expect Cardano to be in by the end of May going into the end of June, I think, you know, we should be pushing for about 275 to $3. That's a price range that makes perfect sense for Cardano to get to. Uh, obviously, if we're still in all coin season, which I expect this to be full, uh, full bull market still, um, you know, by the end of June, I think, you know, 275 to $3 is my price target. Going into the end of 2021, I think Cardano could continue to do very, very well, pushing its way right around my, you know, I've been saying this one for a while, six to $8 with a potential for $10 is, you know, my price target at the moment. Uh, you know, six to $10 realistically is, you know, could last or jump anywhere in that uh, little hole. I think six to $10 is reasonable, uh, kind of a realistic price point for us. So that is going to be my price predictions for May, June, and 2021. If you guys have any questions about Cardano or, uh, you know, any kind of you know comments on Cardano and the Tesla ordeal itself, I would love to hear about it. If you want to comment in the video as well as subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. I really do appreciate all of your guys' awesome support. If you want to take advantage of you know my support, jump into the description below, 
follow me on Twitter, join the discord as well as jump and take advantage of those referral codes. We have a bunch of referral codes down there for things like Voyager, Coinbase, Binance, KuCoin, all of those. Some of those help me, some of those don't, but either way, a lot of those do help me. So it really would be appreciative if you guys would take advantage of those referral codes, sign up for those exchanges. You don't even have to use them. If you don't use them, that's perfectly fine, but just sign up uh, using my code. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thanks again, guys.